All right, let me just show you all the uh, most recent round of updates that so far has been working well and I hope it hangs in there. Uh, first and foremost is I cut out the top of my barrel here on the swirl filter a little bit and I got two of these big thick filter pads. These are, um, oh, we got them through Dr. Foster and Smith. I can't remember the exact classification. I think they call them medium density filter padding. They're two inches thick and I got two of them. So I've got a total of four inches of sort of a dense filter cloth material. And this was put in here because if you recall the issues I had with the floating poo in my swirl filter, a lot of the poo was floating up to the top and then just going out the outlet over there and not actually getting filtered out. So by putting the filter pads, it makes that poop stay below the filter pad. So I'm not really, they're not really filtering so much uh, to try to catch fine solids or anything. It's just as a, as a barricade to keep the poop from floating to the surface so it has to stay down. As part of installing those, of course, I did cut the top out, but I also lowered my inlet. So my swirl filter inlet used to be right here, and then once it went inside the barrel, it turned and went down and then to the side, so that it gave it a good swirl. But that meant if I had, if I left it at that same level, then my inlet is basically the same height as my outlet, and so my filter pads wouldn't have worked. So I moved it down here, but right now this is just temporary, just stuck in there to fill the hole with a little standpipe. There's no, there's no value in that. If I guess if I want to, I can crank her down and dump some water out, but you know, there's no, <laughs> there's no reason to do that. It's just stuck in there until I can get a plug put on that. Um, but so I moved the filter or the, the inlet down and now when it goes in it doesn't turn down to the right it just goes in and turns to the right so it's still coming in tangential still swirling good. Since I was cutting all this and working on it I went ahead and added a valve here. Um, didn't necessarily need it but one of the things that I found when I if I drain the system without this valve if I just crack this open and want to try to drain out the dump line, say I want to drain one of these tanks or whatever, it would first pull a siphon on the swirl filter, it would drain the swirl filter down until it broke the siphon. So by having this valve, like I said, it's not really all that necessary, uh, but it will save a little bit of water, saves a little bit of turbulence on things, and so I can just cut it off real quick, do whatever else I need to do, turn it back on as, as, as I see fit. So. Um, but anyway, that, those were the, uh, the plumbing modifications. Uh, the big one being, of course, the, um, the filter pads. Say hello to my little friend, the garter snake, who pretty well lives underneath that pump all the time now. Um, but it looks like everything's working pretty good. The tank is it's, it's a little bit higher level just because of how I've got this outlet set. I can turn that outlet down just a little bit, and that'll let the tank level drop a little bit. And it'll let the sub level come up a little bit, which is fine because I don't like my tank running full, full, full. Uh, so anyway, those were the uh, changes. But so far, I just did a water change. Uh, today is Wednesday. I did a water change Monday. But the water is surprisingly clean. Much, much cleaner than it has been in the past. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of floating poo and debris. And you guys can very clearly see the fish. They're getting plenty bigger. So, you know, it still has a little bit of tea coloration. That's fine, I expect that. That's just suspended solids, no big deal. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but I don't see near the amount of floating poop uh, that was being recirculated in here. And uh, the fish, the water looks cleaner and the fish look happier. So, um, just fed them a little minute ago, just as a little bonus feed. I've got their automatic feeder going again, uh, but I still don't trust it, so it only feeds them once or twice a day. And then I come in here when I think about it and I'll throw in a scoop of feed just as a bonus. But, Everything's looking good. I just wanted to show you guys those uh, those quick modifications. The uh, the filter pads, like I said, conceptually a swirl filter should work fine, um, but only when you have a a poop that's heavier than water. If you have a semi-floating or a floating feed pellet, you're gonna have floating poop, and so then you're gonna need those filter pads. You're gonna hold that poop down. Now when I go to clean the filter, it's real easy. I'll cut it off down there. I'll crank my standpipe up right there to prevent backflow from the K1 filter, or K1 barrel. And then I'll just crack my valve here and drain out and flush out the bottom. Go back, back to business. So things are looking good. Just wanted to show you guys the uh, updates and or upgrades.